Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about the vault. There's supposed to be a bunch of, you know, extra plays that'll get you a bunch of yards in the vault. We didn't see them. So I don't think there is a vault. But um we normally have been a team that gets a lot of explosive runs in the season. And doing this research, those explosive runs were few and far between. So today marks part one of two. Uh, looking at our explosive runs this year, and hopefully, you know, they can come back in 2022. Roll the intro. So before we get started today, we want to um, try a light goal again. We're going to set it 400 again. You guys really pushing the last one. It's right at 300 and something. So I appreciate everybody that hit the like button. So, and if you like the content and you um, want to support the channel, hit that like button. Also subscribe and share with the people in your group chat, wherever that group chat may be. Uh, Flock Nation. Now to these explosive runs. So an explosive run in my book is anything from 15 to 20 yards or more. So going through the season last year and looking for runs that fit that category, there weren't as many as you think. There were some early, and oh, disclaimer, any run by Lamar Jackson I took out. That's where most of your explosive runs came from. Any Lamar Jackson run, I took it out. I was looking for explosive runs by people other than Lamar Jackson, whether it be any other running backs or receivers on sweeps, stuff like that. So now we can get into it. I had to put that disclaimer out there because you guys are going to be looking for the Lamar runs. Taking Lamar runs out completely. Let's get into it. This is against the Raiders. And this is uh, Tyson. And obviously, you know, he just got picked up by the Colts. Really just want to see what the play was and what happened. And you get a better view of the run plays from the end zone angle. Obviously, he was off to a good start last year. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I think it's third and short or fourth and short. They run just split zone. They run a split zone. So what split zone is is you got a car coming to try to pick up anything off the back end. Everybody else going in that direction, whether they probably double team there, block down, block down, and you know, Ricard's trying to feel anything off the tackles, but everybody got their blocks. He he overplays it, thinking he's gonna bounce outside. He sticks that foot in the ground. It's over with now. He just got to hit it hard and not be arm tackled. It's a great job of vision. He ain't always had his vision, you know, throughout the season. But the, on this play right here, it was a great job with his vision. All right, let's go to the next one. This is versus the Chiefs. This is Dante, uh, Devontae Freeman, I think, on the left. Is it counter bash? They're like counter bash. Which is one of the plays that we picked up two years ago that he pulled out of the vault. And he pulled it out late in the season. So what you're going to get on counter bash, for those that don't know, you're going to get um, counter by the front. Counter left by the front. So he's going to be pulling to kick out. He's, uh, I think it's McCarr's going to be pulling the wrap to the play side backer. Um, he's going to down block. And they should double that to that guy. Villain Waver and Power should double that to the backside guy. Uh, I think 42 is going to go outside and try to influence this dude. And Lamar just going to read it. He's going to read um, Chris Jones, I think. No, he didn't read Chris Jones because Chris Jones bumped in. He ended up reading this guy. Him crashing like that, there's no way he can contain the outside. Ricard got it. Go read. Go read. And counter, obviously this was a quarterback counter, but counter bash. Bash means back away. Back away from the play. Because this is the play side over here. Bash is this side, the back away. Good job, Andrews down the field. Good job, Ricard at the point of attack. Good job of Freeman seeing and hitting it. Next one. Now, if you noticed... I don't think we played the Chargers third. I don't think we played the Chargers third. This is this bounced on up because they're 
It was rough looking for explosive rounds. Just let's just say that. Now let's outside zone. Now, speaking of outside zone, it's like stretch right. This is where Linderbaum is gonna flourish. Plays like this. If this is outside zone, like I think it is. Yeah, because all right, let's just for a minute. I know I'm getting sidetracked because this is about last year, but let's just say this is Linderbaum. Linderbaum is he's so good at this play, he'll hook 44 and won't even need help from from Zeitler. He'll get on 44's play side shoulder and won't even need help from Zyla. That's how good Linderbaum is at this. See how he's on the back side? I guarantee you Linderbaum going to be over here sealing that off. And so now where he's, you know, forcing Freeman to, you know, make another cut, this Linderbaum, he's going to hit that thing right there and be gone. Or already be outside and be gone. He ain't got to have to cut. He's going to already know what, the path he got. <clears throat> but again, good cut by Freeman. Nice job of blocking, though. Nice, nice job of, of blocking on his edge. Who is this on the edge? This is 42 and 84. Is that Boyer? Who is 84? 84 is not Boyer. 84 is... Is that Thomason? But good job of 42 and... That's Oliver. Josh Oliver. Okay, that's Josh Oliver. Good job of those two blocking on the edge. And good job of Tay, you know, getting the edge, too. So now we jump up to Minnesota. And again, these, these runs were few and far between. So you got, what, 10 in the box? One receiver, so you got that's building the waiver. So you got two tight ends on the right, um, 42 in the background. I'm gonna call him by his real name one day, just not today. A little buck sweep action, Linda Bowman be good at this. I think this buck sweep, let me see. Yep. It's bug sweep. Tell you how it's bug sweep. Because in bug sweep, if you don't have a guy in your play side gap, you pull. I'm sorry, in your backside gap, you pull. If you don't have a guy in your backside gap, you pull. If you do have a guy in your backside gap, you block down. So he should be blocking down. Um, he should be blocking down. He should be pulling. Let's see. He should be pulling. And maybe the center should be pulling. Or, or powers. One of the two. There's the center. See that? And power. Yeah, there you go. Or your buck sweep. And you got a lead blocker in record. And good job of them staying on blocks. Good job of uh, Tay being patient. Letting that thing develop. Got your kick out by Zeitler. You got uh, Bowlesman and 42 trying to lead up in there. You got your back right behind them. Good job of letting it develop. Good job of letting it develop. Then not running out of bounds. Getting the extra yardage. It's a good run play. Good patience by Freeman. Now, here's this game. Oh, my good. I didn't even notice this. Watch. Forget the run. Watch this. Forget the run. <laughs> I didn't even see that when I was cutting it. Oh, Sammy. I love it. I love it. But then again, look at um, Le'Veon, too. Watch Le'Veon's block. Le'Veon get a good block, too. Good block by good job. Good job on the edge by Le'Veon and by um uh Sammy. See how he crossed his face? Probably won't happen with Linda Bond. Probably won't happen with Linda Bond. Oh, this is Power Reed. I thought it was this was Power Reed. That's what it was. That's why that's why Zyla pulling. This was Power Reed. So with this being Power Reed. He's supposed to block back on that. Uh, I want to say record and feeling the way we should block down to the play side backer or whoever shows up. You got um, power should actually be going down too. And then you should have Zeitler rapping to this linebacker. Then you should be reading this guy right here. If he crashes down, get a jet sweep. If he widens out with it, ride it, hit it. I'm not sure why he gave that. Cause this guy went outside, so maybe maybe this guy's the read. Maybe he's the read then. 
And we're gonna kick kick him out with, with Zyla. He didn't move. He gave the ball up. Yeah, I still think it's the wrong read, but we got good results out of it. Samuel with a great block. Le'Veon with a good block on the outside. Nice little run. All right, to the Bears. A jet sweep option. And it's crazy that Devontae Freeman the one getting these explosive runs. Or a so-called explosive run. This was only 10 yards. What play is this? Is this split zone with motion? Uh, trying to figure it out because he's going out. You got your two double teams. How are they trying to bend? Some kind of bend play. Some kind of misdirection. All right, because he's coming across the formation. You got two doubles in the middle. He's coming to kick that out. So really, Tate really got a two-way go. He can go there, or he can follow Duvernay on that. So you really got split action both ways. And he follows Duvernay, picks a good hole. And what I love about it is, and this is old school, old school uh, running back one on one. He got the ball. He's in traffic. Look where the ball is, high and tight. Great fundamental football. Right there. That ball high and tight. Still high and tight. Gets even higher to avoid fifty eight. Now I can put it down and try to get something. You know, getting 10 yards. All right, he filled in, he filled in well for us last year. So, no hating, no shade, anything on Devontae. You know, I wish him, wish him the best success with whatever he's doing now. But he did a great job of filling in for us when we, we were hurting at the running back position. So, this is uh, part one of our, our uh, explosive runs. We'll get part two. Part two uh, Friday. So I appreciate you guys for come, tuning in. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Uh, make sure you like uh, if you like the video. Comment if you have some comments about the stuff in the vault. And uh, subscribe if you have not done so, so far. So I'll see you guys Friday, man. Peace.